Hello, I'm Jessica Boyer with your STV News Break for Monday, July 18th. The third crash in less than two weeks again shut down lanes on Interstate 5 early Monday. Southbound lanes were shut down around 3.30 a.m. near Templin Highway after 24-year-old Daniel Perez crashed into an SUV driven by 59-year-old Hector Sierra, causing it to veer off the roadway. Sierra was airlifted to a local hospital and Perez was taken away in an ambulance. A San Clemente man who allegedly struck and killed a Valencia man on New Year's will be back in court in October. Ronald Aviles reportedly killed Travis Martin when he was walking on PCH in Orange County on New Year's Day in 2015. After the jury in an Orange County courtroom couldn't come to a decision in the first trial, Aviles will now face his second trial starting October 17th. We're going to take a quick break, but when we come back, see how the community showed their support for local law enforcement. Plus, see what you need to do to keep your pet happy and healthy. Stay tuned. Howdy, everyone. I'm EJ Stevens. And I'm Bill West. And we host a little show here on SCV TV called SCV in the Movies. But now we wanted to make sure our audience... All seven of you. Howdy. <laughs> who are all fans of movies and Santa Clarita Valley history knew about a great event coming up in our valley on Saturday, August 13th. That's right, it's called Silence Under the Stars. It's hosted by the Friends of Hart Park and the William S. Hart Park and Museum right here in town. For you fans of history, we'll have special opportunities to see the home of silent era cowboy movie star William S. Hart. And then we'll watch one of his movies on his property under the stars. Pretty cool. Yeah, and for you fans of movies, we'll be showing Bill Hart's first feature film. This is the film that made him famous called The Bargain and it's featuring accompaniment written just for this evening, performed live by the incredible Ray Lowe. We're gonna have a special guest, a delicious barbecue dinner, music by comedy Western entertainer, Mild Bill and his Mild Cats. Who are also great. They're great. And a chance to bid on some one-of-a-kind items at our famous silent auction. Well, sounds like a blast, Bill. Uh, how do folks join in on this? Shindig. Well, there are three ways. You can call for tickets at 661 222 9542 or buy tickets online at friendsofheartpark.org and click on silence or perhaps the best way join the friends of yeah. heart park we could use the yeah, help we could yes <laughs> and you, you go to the same website and then you click on membership if you join at the patron level or above you get two free tickets to the event and we can't wait to be there ourselves well, we kind of have to be since we're helping to host it. Yeah, well, despite <laughs> the fact that we're hosting, there's really going to be some great entertainment there that <laughs> night. So again, that's Silence Under the Stars at William S. Hart Park, Saturday, August 13th. So get your tickets by calling 661-222-9542. Or going online at friendsofheartpark.org. And until then, we'll see you here at SCV TV. And we'll see you there at Silence Under the Stars. Welcome back. Sheriff's deputies were shown a lot of love today when members of the community came out to an annual Chalk the Walk event. But with uh, everything going on in our country and the world right now, it's uh, just kind of uh, filling the Facebook pages with such negative news and media. And I think I feel like the our law enforcement's getting kind of a bad rap, and I don't think it's fair. And um, we love our law enforcement, our sheriffs, and our, our um, LAPD do an amazing job. And I know they're there to serve and protect, and they're in, it's just horrible what's happened. And we just wanted to give them a little support and a little, um, some kind words. Uh, it just, it's been great. It makes all the deputies feel uh, very appreciated. Uh, they're working long hours. Some of them are working very late hours. And to have the community come out here and the kids show their support, it uh, just gives them, gives them a good feeling that they're appreciated in the community. Not only were attendees young and old, many deputies came out and thanked them for their art. With temperatures rising, pets need extra care to keep them healthy. We went out and got some helpful tips to help you keep your dog cool and happy. Temperatures are expected to return to Santa Clarita this week, and you can keep your dog safe and cool by following some helpful tips from two local animal experts. 
it's it's very important to obviously keep them out of the sun um, even if you have dogs that think they like to sunbathe bring them indoors keep them cool if they are outdoor dogs um, you'll want to make sure that they have shade um, and a secluded place um, if it's very hot you might even want to put out cool towels or ice packs for them to keep cool if the animal does have to go outside to go to the bathroom shade is a, a must for them just like it is for any human if it's extremely hot 90 100 degree weather it would be best just to leave the animal inside where there's an air conditioning and it's nice and cool if you can't walk on the concrete or the ground barefoot it's probably not safe for your pet as well um, your pet will tell you if they're too hot and they're too tired to play they're not going to want to go anywhere if you're out on a walk and the animal just finds shade collapses down and doesn't want to walk anymore then it's just too hot and they're too tired signs to watch for um, because they can't sweat like people um, they would be panting so very excessive panting if they're acting more lethargic if they're not quite as alert kind of acting confused those are all signs of heat exhaustion and you'd want to bring them into the vet immediately for treatment that's all for your scv news break for more local news you can log on to hometownstation.com or scvnews.com thanks for watching i'm jessica boyer